Hello everybody, this is Jacob Duffney and you are watching my Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough with the second Elite Four member being Bertha, the ground type gym, or Elite Four member. Well, well, you're quite an adorable trainer, but you've also got a spine. Haha, <laughs> I'm Bertha. I have a preference for ground type Pokemon. So would you show this lady how much you've learned? And Bertha has a Quagsire, Sudowoodle, Golem, Wishcast, and Hippowdon. With Quagsire having Recover, Toxic, Earthquake, and Surf. And it is ground water type, which means it is immune to electric types, but also take water type moves not as well. In other words, this would actually be a perfect job for a good old Caleb. Hopefully that doesn't, yeah, that doesn't do much damage at all. You know what's going to do a lot of damage? Me throwing the hammer on you. And it, and she actually has, and Wish Cash 2 is also groundwater, but then the other three are either just ground with exception of a golem that's also rock type. And I believe it's going to probably, it's going to send out Wish Cash. Which Wish Cash has Bulldoze, Ice Beam, Belch, Hydro Pump. I'm just going to throw another hammer on it. Yay, and then now it's gonna send out Sudowoodo and I'm gonna send Jacqueline out for that. And Sudowoodo has Double Edge, Head Smash, Sucker Punch, and Low Kick and is holding a Citrus Berry. But I'm gonna give it a good old Surf. I love this animation. I'm just absolutely wrecking this gym. The last one I struggled a little bit. I think that was like the one of the first battles I actually struggled in except for against Dialga, which I'm still mad about that. And then now Golem, and I'm gonna keep out Jacqueline. And Golem has Rock Polish, Heavy Slam, Earthquake, and Stone Edge, and is holding Soft Sand. So we'll just send out another Surf. And it has the sturdy ability, so this one attack isn't going to work. Which is actually why the next move I'm going to do is going to be Whirlpool, which will surround it in a Vortex. So next time I use Surf, I don't have to worry about the sturdy. Well, since I used 30 once, I don't think it factors in, but now it's at 100 HP again. So I'm not entirely sure. But that actually does all of the damage. I'm not used to Whirlpool being so effective. And now Hippowdon, which is his final Pokemon, is just ground type. And I'm going to leave Jacqueline out there with the Sandstream ability. So expect Sandstorm. And it's Ice Fang, Earthquake, Crunch, and Rust. And I'm gonna actually try Whirlpool. But now it's trapped in a vortex. Ooh. Didn't want me to leave me sad. Thank you, Jacqueline. But then that Samstorm knocks me out on Wiz. <laughs> oh. No. That was gonna go through this without it. The only thing that's actually super effective now would be actually be Caleb. I 
Um, let me use. I'm gonna use wood hammer. This will probably knock me out, but that'll be the case. Got in this one under well at about five and a half minutes. And I hate when my freaking capture card does that. Everyone pretty much leveled up except for Coop. And Jacqueline because she got knocked out. Good job, Bertha. Thanks for the money. You're quite something, youngster. I like how you win your Pokemon earn the win by working as one. That's why I'm, that, that's what makes you so strong. I can't read. So there's that. Bertha is done, so now we're gonna head to our next Elite Four member. Which is this guy, which we've already met. But that's gonna be it for this video. Just gotta use one revive. And Jacqueline's probably gonna take the entire next gym. As the next gym is a fire type gym. Or fire, why do I keep saying gym? F fire type elite four member. So I'm going to save. Thank you all for watching. Please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe, and ring that ring a ling ding a ling bell. And I'll see you all in the next part. See ya.